Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In spring 2020, I took Chem 101 with Dr. Karen Goldberg, and today I wanna to sit down and give a review of the course. I wanna give a summary of the course structure, the difficulty of the course, the quality of the course, and some general tips on how to succeed in the course. I hope this video gives you a good idea of what to expect in Chem 101, and I hope that you can succeed in the course. And without further ado, let's get right into it. So, Chem 101 is first level general chemistry at Penn. This course fulfills Sector 6, which is Physical World. Related courses include Chem 102, Chem 100, and Chem 53. Chem 102 is second level general chemistry. Chem 100 is a course that's equivalent to Chem 101 and is for students with a weaker background in chemistry from high school. It covers all the same topics as Chem 101, but it kind of spends more time on some of the basic topics. I tried to take this course because my background in chemistry wasn't that strong. My last chemistry class that I took before this was in 10th grade and it wasn't an AP or an IB chemistry course. It was just a normal one. So I tried to take this course, but sadly didn't fit in with my schedule. Chem 53 is Chem Lab. Um, I actually dropped this course because I had a lot going on last semester. Chem Lab is separate from the actual chem lectures. So you can take it whenever you want. In the few days that I was in chem lab, there was actually a senior that I met who was applying to medical school and was taking lab now. So you can really take it whenever you want. So summary of class structure. So chem 101 is made up of a lecture and a weekly recitation. My class had a one hour lecture three times a week and a weekly one and a half hour recitation. So in recitation, we would do worksheets and groups. And then after we finished our worksheets, we would have a time quiz um, here's an example of the worksheet. And here's an example of what the quizzes look like. So yeah, so here is our course outline so you can have an idea of what we went over in the course. And from what I understand, Chem 100 spends more times in chapters two, three, and four. Also, the course was integrated with a software called v 2 from Cengage. This is where we had all of our homework assignments, practice assignments, and also our course text was integrated with it. Grading this course was done by a point system with the maximum amount of points being 800. 300 points came from the best two of our three midterm exams. 300 points came from our final exam. 100 points came from the v 2 homework that I mentioned a little bit earlier. 50 came from recitation quizzes with one quiz being dropped. And 50 came from recitation worksheets. Also, before this course, we were given access to a pen class through Alex, and it basically went over a lot of the basic principles in chemistry. And as long as we mastered 95% of this course, we got an extra 3% on our final. So, all right, so difficulty. So this course was difficult for me. Um, I would probably give this a nine out of 10 on difficulty. Usually in every class that I've taken so far, there's always one person that I find that says, oh, this is easy, this class is easy. This is the first class that I've been in that I haven't heard that from anyone, so that's pretty telling. So what was hard about the class, you might ask? So the speed of the class as someone who had a weaker background in chemistry was very quick, and that's especially at the beginning. Um, a lot of things that we learned in the first few weeks were taught as if they were a review, which they might have been for a lot of people in the course, but for me, it wasn't a review. This was the first time I was going over this information, so it felt like it was just like really fast. Like I said earlier, um, I hadn't taken a chem course since 10th grade, so I basically forgot all of the basic chem things, and not to mention the class wasn't AP or IV, so... We didn't really go that in depth on a lot of subjects. Also recitation sort of deepened my anxiety throughout the course because they felt kind of high stakes. You know, not only was there a graded worksheet in the recitation, but there was also a graded quiz. Typically other recitations that I've had usually have one or the other. So it kind of made it feel more high stakes because if I didn't know something, not only do I get it wrong on the worksheet, but I'll also get it wrong on the quiz and the grade kind of drops a lot. So that kind of made it a little more difficult, I feel. Also, the low quality recitations contributed to the difficulty, but I'm gonna get into that a little more in the next section. So quality. So this course was not the best course that I've taken at Penn quality wise. Um, I'd probably give it a five out of 10. So I think the quality of this course is really impacted by the recitations. As I said a second ago, it felt really high stakes and it didn't feel like we were going in to learn or like 
solidify our understanding of things. It felt more like we were just going through the motions and then taking the quiz. I think the quality of those recitations were also hampered by the TAs, which just to put it simply, weren't very helpful. Some, but not all, were snarky in their responses to students. Um, some, but not all, answered questions with more questions. And to put it bluntly, a lot of them just weren't helpful. I just felt like they would, like refused to slow down and actually help. And I could see on my classmates' faces, like the eye rolls and the sighs and the just general frustration when they did things like this. Along with that, there just really weren't enough of them in my recitation. Um, for my class, there was somewhere around, I wanna guess like 25 people and we had two TAs in our recitation. So a lot of times it would be like 10 minutes just to get one question in because everyone in the course had so many questions. So that was another thing that like kind of brought the quality down for me. Along with that, it felt like lectures from our professor didn't add to the course very much. Lectures were basically just watered down versions of the text with the same examples and the same phrasing and the same wording. Like, it really was just like a watered down version of the text. For my other courses, I'm used to having certain details focused on and just having things explained in different ways and like the professor's wordings, but it really felt like she was just reading from the course text. And when I would go over the course text, I would see that a lot of this is just reading from the course text. It felt like at times the v 2 software and the course text together were just more beneficial than the actual professor. At a certain point in the course, a lot of my friends actually stopped coming to lecture and opted to just read the course text and do practice problems on v 2 because they felt like they weren't learning anything new when they went to lecture. And I honestly agreed with them. Um, I continued to go to lecture just because as a student, I'm the type that has to go to lecture just because I feel bad if I don't, but in hindsight, it might've been better for me to literally just go and read the course text and do the practice problems and stuff like that. I might've learned something a little bit more, but yeah. I will say the exams in this course are for quality and they're also fair. Um, they didn't feel too artificially difficult and a lot of the questions from the exam, you can find good examples in the discussion section of the course text. Final thoughts slash tips to succeed. So overall, this was not my most enjoyed course at Penn. Um, I kind of just went through it, got a good, pretty good grade in it, and just got through it. Um, this course was definitely the most difficult intro science course that I've taken so far at Penn. The lack of help from TAs is what made the course kind of stand out to me. Um, as a result, I felt like I was on my own a lot, and just knowing that I can only get help from myself and my peers was a big thing. But who knows, maybe, maybe that was for the best. Maybe I learned something about the real world with that. So some tips to succeed, I would say, is to make sure you finish the pin class as early as possible. If you can before his class begins, it's just a kind of stressful thing to leave it for the last week. I remember everyone was like really stressed out that last week trying to get it in before the due date. So get that done as early as possible if you can. Read ahead and have really good notes from the course text. This is a thing in basically all classes, but especially this class, like the course text is basically the entire course. I would also say do the discussion questions in the book at the end of each chapters. These are the questions that are most similar to the exam questions. You can definitely get practice on v 2 but these questions are even more like the exam questions. I would also let students know that in this course, a lot of students had a check account to help with some of the homework problems. I'm not telling you to get a check account, but if you could find a friend with one, that might help you a little bit. Also, if you have a weaker background in Kim, there's peer-led team learning, where a TA has weekly sessions and comes with slides and kind of goes over what you went over that week. And in a group, you kind of do like worksheets and stuff, and it's a good way to kind of work things out. I went to this on and off and sometimes they were helpful, sometimes they weren't as helpful, but it's a good thing. Also, I would generally say to get a tutor in this class if you feel like you have a weaker background in chemistry. I know I had one and he helped a lot. And lastly, check out the YouTube channel, Organic Chemistry Tutor. I'm sure you might have seen it before, but if you haven't, this YouTube channel does a really good job at explaining a lot of things in the course and it's very helpful. And basically that is it. Remember that this is all my experiences and my opinion, so take everything that I said with a grain of salt and make sure to leave a like on this video if you learn anything and I really hope that you can succeed in this course. Good luck.